Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Elkon here, and we're back with part two of tips and tricks for getting better at Tapper Simulator. Now, I know a lot of you guys wanted this video for the new tips, and since this game has updated quite a lot since I posted the last tips and tricks video, so I'm going to be bringing you guys some new tips and tricks for getting better at the game a lot faster, just like the first one. If you guys haven't watched the first video, then make sure to click this little card at the top, or it's going to be in the description down below. Make sure to go watch it. It has some useful tips. It'll definitely help you get better at the game. I also want to say I'm super sorry for not posting this video or any other video lately i've been on vacation so i haven't had time to actually post a video but we're back so we're gonna get back on that grind and post some videos for your guys entertainment so if you guys do want to enjoy this video then make sure to smash the like button and click the subscribe button for more videos just like this one without further ado let's get right into those new tips and tricks now the first tip that we're going to get right into once again is rebirthing but it's not going to be the same tip that we did in the first video the reason I want to talk about rebirthing is because recently they added a new update so they added three to four brand new rebirth buttons. Now I know a lot of people like to rebirth because while well, rebirthing obviously helps you get better and gets more taps throughout the game so you can progress a lot faster. But the reason I'm mentioning these rebirth buttons is because they are actually super important. Now the reason I'm mentioning them is because you want to save up to get every single one of them. Now the final button that you can actually get is 2 billion rebirths. Once you get that button, I do not recommend rebirthing whatsoever after that. I recommend saving up all your gems, buying all the rebirth buttons, and then once you get all of them to 2 billion, you're going to want to save your taps until you get to 2 billion rebirths. Because anything before that is just not worth it. The reason I say to save up for the 2 billion rebirths is because if you continue to use your taps on other rebirth buttons that's not 2 billion, then that 2 billion is just going to keep costing more and more and more and it's going to get more expensive to rebirth throughout the game and make it actually harder to rebirth. So that's why I do not recommend rebirthing before 2 billion. I recommend just saving up once you get the 2 billion button and then saving up all your taps till you get 2 billion rebirths because once you rebirth 2 billion times, it will make the game so much easier for you to where you can get a lot more taps and progress the game super quick more than others so that's why i'm giving you guys this tip so like i said i recommend it but that's up to you you guys can see you know if it benefits you or not but uh let's get right into the second tip the second tip i want to get right into is upgrades now there's an upgrade station in every portal and every world so you'll have no problem with finding it whatsoever but the reason I want to talk about upgrades is because not a lot of people know what upgrades are or they rebirth, get gems, and they come in here and spend it on whatever just to upgrade anything and they don't even really know what they're upgrading. So we're going to talk about the upgrades right now so you guys have a better understanding of what they are and what they actually do. So let's get into it. First upgrade we're going to get into is called more diamonds. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. What this actually does is it increases the amount of diamonds you get every time you rebirth. So as you keep upgrading more diamonds, you're obviously going to get more diamonds every time you rebirth so like i said it is super useful and i definitely recommend it now the next upgrade we got is max storage now max storage is only useful if you're someone that hatches a lot or like overnight or stuff like that it's really not useful for people that don't hatch a lot and what this actually does is just increases the storage to where you can hold a lot more pets and that's basically all it's to it so like i said if you don't hatch a lot i don't recommend it now the next one is also pretty self-explanatory it's higher walk speed now once you upgrade this it's going to make your character a lot faster to where you can get the portals faster worlds faster and just overall be super fast now it's not really required to upgrade this whatsoever but if you want to be faster then i definitely recommend it but if you don't really care how fast your avatar goes or how fast you are in general then don't worry about upgrading this now that we got through all the upgrades and what they actually do the upgrade that i definitely recommend is more diamonds that is the one you definitely should be going for every single time you have enough and upgrade it to the max because every time you rebirth you want more diamonds to where you can buy more rebirth stuff and just overall get more rebirth buttons you guys get the idea so that's why i recommend upgrading that to the max Hopefully this tip helps, so let's get into the next one. The third tip that we're going to get right into is the rebirth shop. Now just like the upgrade station, there's a rebirth shop in every single world, so you have no problem with finding one whatsoever. Now if you don't know what the rebirth shop is, it's another shop where you could take diamonds to after rebirthing and come in here and buy some pretty cool stuff, such as rebirth buttons to help you rebirth, you know, more, a free auto clicker to get a couple extra taps, 
and some rebirth pets where you can help boost your taps a little quicker just by using your diamonds now the reason i want to talk about the rebirth shop is not only to show you guys what's in it and what it's about but to help recommend you on what you should buy and what you shouldn't buy so you don't end up wasting your diamonds on useless stuff that won't even help you and just stuff like that so that's what we're going to get right into now rebirth buttons like i said before in tip one rebirth buttons are super important and i definitely recommend them buy them as many as you possibly can if you have enough gems now auto clicker is also pretty useful when it comes down to wanting to get a couple extra taps or even not wanting to tap your screen and it taps by yourself so like i said auto clicker is definitely worth it you don't have to buy it right away or you don't even need to buy it at all if you don't want to but it is useful so i definitely recommend it now when it comes down to rebirth pets now rebirth pets is kind of pro and con yes they can help you at the start but overall later it's not going to help you whatsoever and i don't even buy them myself because i don't find them useful it's just a waste of gems for me and i'm going to tell you why right now so the rabbit and the jellyfish i would say is pretty useful in the beginning if you don't feel like you know grinding out taps and you want to help get taps a little quicker and you have like a little bit of extra diamonds and stuff like that i definitely recommend it but when you get higher i don't recommend it whatsoever because you can only buy three of them and the only way they'll end up being good is if it's a shiny and you only have a 60 percent chance to make that shiny and it will only be one pet as well and they never restock so you will only be able to buy three and only be able to make one shiny if you're lucky enough and it's just not worth it i did it in the candy land actually i bought the last final pet in it i bought all three of them i made a shiny and it was better than the pet that i currently had but it just wasn't worth it it was so many diamonds that i could have used for upgrades or just you know the other stuff in the rebirth shop and just stuff like that and it's just not worth it whatsoever so i do not recommend rebirth pets but the other two upgrades, such as rebirth buttons and the auto clicker, I do recommend, but that is totally up to you. Now that we got tip three out of the way, let's get right into tip four. The next tip that I want to get right into is event eggs. Now you're probably thinking, Elcon, why are you even talking about event eggs? They're only here a limited time. Why even talk about them? Now, the reason I want to talk about event eggs is because everybody likes to think when a new event egg comes out, it is the best pets to possibly get in the game. Now, yes, that is 110% true. They are the best pets in the game when the egg first comes out. But after that event egg is still here, just like, for example, the 5 mil event egg is still here, but they just had an update today, or I think it was yesterday, somewhere there, they added a brand new world called Black Hole. And it's so much better. Everybody thinks the event egg is still good and it's better than the new world, but it's actually not. And the only reason it is not better is because the legendaries in each of those eggs. A legendary and event egg you cannot evolve which is sad because it would be super overpowered if you could but you sadly can't now maybe they'll do that for a future so if you are watching this in the future and they already have that then you are correct and it is you know a lot better than any other world egg but event eggs legendaries you cannot evolve and it just makes it so much worse than a brand new world that comes out because those legendaries in the brand new world such as the black hole world for example which we'll head over to them right now they're a lot better than the event legendary i actually don't have one because i haven't been grinding the new egg because i really haven't cared about it yet but like i said right here is the legendary and the event egg fully maxed out at 70k and i had someone tell me they have the brand new legendary even evolved and it was like 176 000 so they are so much better i don't recommend that type of knowledge now like i said when an event egg comes out it's perfectly fine to grind the heck out of it because you obviously want the best pets but when a brand new world comes out after it go for those legendaries evolve them and they'll be 10 times better just trust me on this one but if you don't if you don't want to trust me and you don't you know recommend it or don't want to do it that's totally up to you but like i said i'm giving you guys a tip so hopefully it helps you now we got tip four out of the way let's get right into tip five now onto the last and final tip and this one is going to be super important so listen up especially for my free to play players and for the people that just don't feel like spending robux on useless game passes and this tip is going to be auto hatching now right now of this recording there is a free auto hatch weekend going on right now where you don't have to buy the game pass they give it out to free for everyone but we're going to make sure that we get it free permanently completely without the game pass 
So let's get right into it. Now, this is super important and it's going to determine if you're able to do the method or not. And it all comes down to what type of device you have. If you have a PC, Mac or Android, then you'll be able to do this method with no problems at all. Now, if you have an iOS device, I'm sorry to say that you probably won't be able to do this method unless you have a solution that I don't know about that I'm really glad you're able to do this. But just try it out. Make sure I can't 100% confirm it that it doesn't work because I don't have an iOS device. But I've heard from people in the past that they won't be able to do this type of stuff but we'll see so like i said let's get into it so the first thing what you're going to do is download an auto clicker it could be on any device like i said except ios unless you have a solution just download any auto clicker it could be op auto clicker gs or just any type of auto clicker your device offers download that auto clicker get it all set up all you need to do is just make sure that you're able to click in one consistent area no problem at all all through the night or whatever you know you walk away from your computer or whatever device you have and what you're going to do is open it up and then minimize it just like i have mine i'm going to minimize mine and we're good to go so now what you're going to do is just drag your mouse over to the triple hatch since triple hatch is free and you're just going to turn on your auto clicker just like so and it's going to continuously open up eggs and auto hatch like i said for completely free without buying that game pass now yes this is like a cheap way of doing it but it's for my free to play players and for the people that just don't feel like buying useless game passes i personally don't think auto hatch is worth it whatsoever i think it's just a useless game pass when i can just do it like this with an auto clicker and i'm also getting taps at the same time so it's a win-win situation for me opening up eggs getting taps and that's all i really need to do and i don't need to actually do anything else with my mouse while i'm hatching eggs so like i said it's pretty useless but that's totally up to you guys if you guys want to you know put some extra robux into it and buy that game pass and not have to worry about an auto click or anything then go for it but like i said this is a tip so hope it helped you out and uh that's all the tips i got for you guys so hope you enjoyed i hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you found all the tips and tricks i was able to show you helpful like i said they're not going to help everyone out but as long as they helped out a couple of you that was my goal so i definitely achieved it all the tips and tricks i showed you guys helped me get to where i am right now and i would say i'm pretty decent at the game so hopefully you'll get there as well but this is the end of the video so smash the like button to show me that you enjoyed it click that big red subscribe button to support the channel and click the notification bell to never miss an upload thank you guys again for watching I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.